Okay, I'll admit it. Object-oriented programmers got one thing very right. There's this big problem in programming where sometimes we have a bunch of different things and they really are different things, but for the purpose of one little part of our code, we want to be able to treat them like they're the same thing. Say I have a list of chess pieces and each of them is a different type. Maybe one is an instance of a rook class and another is an instance of a bishop class. Now, let's say they all inherit from a base chess piece class that has a can move method that takes X and Y uh, as inputs. The method signature in this case is the name of the method, the inputs that it takes, in this case, X and Y, and what it returns, which in this case is gonna be a Boolean. Now, by default, let's say our chess pieces class, its can move method just returns false. A chess piece that isn't typed can't move. We expect this method to be implemented in some child class, whether that's rook or bishop or something else. Okay, so now in the rook class that inherits from chess piece, we create another can move method that looks like this. It has its own implementation logic that enforces that rooks can only move in straight lines. And in the bishop class, we can implement it differently, ensuring that they only can move diagonally. Okay, so now you're thinking, who cares? I could have done all of this without polymorphism or whatever that stupid word was. Wrong. Say we store all of the pieces on the board in a nice list. That list can have bishop objects, can have rook objects, can have pawn objects, whatever. They're all different class types. The beauty of making each class's method signature identical is that now I can treat them all the same when it comes to that method. They all have a can move method that takes two integers as inputs and return a boolean. So now I can get some input from the user. You know, move my piece at index two to eight three. And we can just go to that piece in the list, which could be any type, rook, bishop, whatever, and call dot can move eight three. And no matter whether it's a bishop or a pawn or a rook, it's going to work. Polymorphism means many forms. It's the ability to use different concrete types like a rook or bishop through a common interface. In this case, the signature of the can move function. Two integers is input, one Boolean is output. And then each type can have its own different implementation.